Damen und Herren, bitte begrüßen Sie Jürgen Pippig, Leiter Kommunikation Motorsport der Audi AG. Dankeschön. Thank you. Dankeschön. Thank you. Das waren, meine Damen und Ladies and gentlemen, that was some very emotional footage from our successful motorsport history. On that note, welcome to Audi. And in particular, I would like to welcome the colleagues here from the media who have done us the honor of being with us twice today and who are here now. Now, those are, of course, pictures that uh, give you an appetite for more for the motorsports season in 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Audi Motorsports stands for customer sport, customer racing, sport prototypes, and quick Le Mans cars, and DTM. And today, we're going to be talking with you, to you, about the DTM. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of our drivers. I'm pleased that the current Le Mans winner and long-distance champions are with, here, with us here today. Welcome, André Lotterer, Benoit Trelouillet, and Marcel Fesla. Thank you, thank you. And let me say something about Marcel Fesla. He is the first Swiss person who was a world champion and won Le Mans twice as well. That's your applause. And then we also have here the record winner in Le Mans, Tom Christensen, who won no less than eight times one of the toughest races in the world, that classic long-distance endurance race. Thank you, thank you. And I'm also pleased to have another legend here with us, all Le Mans legends, Jackie Eakes, who won that classic race six times. Jackie. Now, our friendly racer from Switzerland, Rahel Frey, is here with us. She's got a home game, so to speak. In 2013, she will be racing for us at Audi in GT Sport. Ladies and gentlemen, 2013 is the year in which we will have a slew of racing dates at Audi. Our sports car team next week, that is our Le Mans racers next week, will be at the 12-hour race in Sebring. And incidentally, our R18 e-tron Quattro will be celebrating its global debut this year at a race. It, uh, well, we already had an initial success in Florida at a race at the end of January. That was Daytona. Our customer teams there were in the 24-hour race, where for the first time they took home a 1-2 finish. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that there's no better way to begin a racing season. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is, directly straight from America. The winning car, the R8 Grand Am from the 24 hours of Daytona. The R8 Grand Am is the car that we had in Daytona that won there, as I said. More than half of the parts from that car are from a production R8. And service was not required until after 20,000 kilometers, 12,000 miles. So the engine doesn't have to be overhauled until that late. So there's uh, a lot of production cars in the uh, production parts in that car. Now, the Audi is moving more and more into. U.S. racing, and I think the one-two finish in Daytona was a perfect beginning for that. And, of course, it is the best possible advertising and promotion for the R8 in the United States.
2013 will also be the year for an important anniversary. Quattro GmbH will be celebrating its 30th anniversary. Our sporty subsidiary developed the production and racing versions of the R8, the Audi RSQ3, celebrated its global debut here this morning. And with this car, we are moving into the new segment of compact, high-performance SUVs. With eight RS models at the end of last year, we had the widest RS variety of all time, the widest variety of fascinating, high-performance cars. Two new members of the family are here, and we will present them to you now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me, the head of Audi Motorsports, Dr. Wolfgang Ulrich, and this year's DTM drivers in alphabetical order. Philip Albuquerque from Portugal, Matthias Ekström from Sweden, from then Miguel Molina from Spain, Eduardo Matara from Geneva here, Mike Rockefeller from Germany, Timo Scheider from Germany, and last but not least, Adrian. Adrien Tombé from France. Seven drivers. Now, what do you think that they all have in common? Maybe you can imagine it. All of them have been on the rostrum at a DTM race. And I think, fellows, you cut a very fine figure in a suit as well. Well, fellas, do your best, step on the gas, pedal to the metal. We are looking forward to seeing what you do in this season, 2013. Let's look forward to it together. Thank you. Okay, now I would like to ask a man to come up on stage who is responsible in the Volkswagen Group for motorsports. Please welcome with me Wolfgang Duhamer, who's the head of development at Audi AG. Mr. Duhamer, welcome. Mr. Duhamer, you bear a high level of responsibility in the group, which includes, amongst other things, racing. Now. How do you think Audi in motorsports is positioned? Well, I don't think it's too hard to say that Audi and motorsports belong together. Audi really does have racing genes. For more than 30 years, Audi has been active in racing, and in that time period, they have scored rostrum places everywhere in the world, in the World Rallying Championship, Le Mans, DTM, whatever Audi tackled in racing, as a rule, ended with victories and championships. In the past few years, Audi has written racing history in an impressive way. For a sporty premium brand, of course, success on the racetrack is a very important, authentic proof of expertise. And ladies and gentlemen, 
Motorsports at Audi is not an end in itself. Motorsports, for us, is the development laboratory for our projects of the future. For instance, just remember the successful initial introduction of diesel drive. That was the LMP1 racing prototype in 2006. That was a revolutionary approach that allowed Audi to achieve a breakthrough for diesel technology on race courses around the world. And the next stage, the next evolution was the diesel hybrid with our Audi R18 e-tron Quattro in 2012. We were back on the rostrum and once again made motorsports history. At the end of the day, our customers benefit from our success on the race course. And at Audi, it's very important for us to rigorously transfer technology from racing to production cars. Now, I don't think that there are many car makers that do that so systematically as Audi. Well, let me ask you a specific question. What do we, what does Audi learn from motorsports, from racing, for production cars? Well, we learn directly on the basis of technical development, such as Quattro Drive or the TFSI engine. Indirectly, we learn as a result of the treasure trove of experience that our Audi engineers have gained in motorsports at racetracks around the world, and later on, their knowledge is put into production cars. And there's another important reason for why we are involved in racing. Success on the race track, race track is the best promotion for our sporty products, and our factory drivers, as you just saw them here, are outstanding brand ambassadors. Well, let me ask you something, Mr. Duhaimel. Please give us a few details about the Audi RS6 Avant and the S3 Sportback. I'd be pleased to. The S3 Sportback is our sporty highlight in the A3 model series, and it will be launched in September 2013. It has power output of 300 horsepower and accelerates the S3 in 4.7 seconds from 0 to 100 and achieves maximum road speed of 250 kilometers an hour. The 2.0 liter TFSI engine was redeveloped from scratch. The new Audi RS6 Avant is our absolute top-of-the-line model in the A6 series. It's got a bi-turbo engine that kicks out 560 horsepower, accelerates from 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds, and achieves a maximum speed of 305 kilometers an hour with its V8 engine. And ladies and gentlemen, the consumption is 30% lower. Fuel economy is better by 30%. 100 kil uh, kilograms is the reduction in weight. This is sustainability, making this car future proof. Now, we gain experience in racing, and there we know that if you have a lighter car, you get to the finish line faster and you consume less fuel. Well, the man on the other side of the technology transfer between racing and production cars is our head of motorsports, Dr. Wolfgang Ulrich. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ulrich helped Audi win 11 victories in Le Mans. Dr. Ulrich, how closely do you work together with the teams from production car development? Well, at Audi, what people want, and therefore it's not a coincidence, that uh, Audi Sport is part of technical development. In other words, we're an integral component of technical development, of engineering. And that is why the transfer of information is based on that close collaboration. A lot of the things that we develop and come up with on race courses, a lot of the things we learn at the race courses can be passed on quickly to our colleagues in technical development. Like we, of course, always experience from their great level of experience for our racing cars and our colleagues in development benefit from our experience for customers because then uh, the sporty genes are put into production cars. Cars, and that's really only possible in, in the way that we've organized it. Mr. Duhaima, in DTM, there's a very close link to production vehicles. Now, what significance does DTM have for Audi? Well, in German-speaking countries, DTM is the most closely watched series of races. There are more 
spectators at DTM races than at Formula One races, and we're up against our main competitors in the premium segment there, that is BMW and Mercedes. And that's why that series of races is extremely important for us, and it is proof positive of our engineering expertise. But, of course, DTM is becoming increasingly popular on an international level, too, for instance, in Russia, because in 2013, in August 2013, we're going to have our first DTM there. And just a couple weeks ago, we were on the Red Square in Moscow with our DTM project, and that gained a lot of attention. And I think you have a film of that. Yes, and we'll show you a brief video of that and DTM in general. And we have another surprise in store for you, ladies and gentlemen. to be successful. Hopefully one day the championship will be mine. And on that note, we'd like to welcome a new star on our DTM team, Jamie Green from England, with our current RS5 DTM. Jamie. Well, now I have got to begin talking about your Mercedes time. You used to race against Matthias Ekström, Timo Scheider, Philipp Edo, against all these guys here. Now, what feeling do you have to be on the Audi team now? And how were you received? What reception were you given? You've already driven the car and tested it. Well, I think it's great. My first test was very interesting, and my new team, well, I think that's a great situation for me, but what's important is to be strong in May, and I'm certain that's possible. And then there's uh, a race in Nuremberg, I think you won that four times. Yes, that's true. <laughs> But now it's our home race, you know that. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I hope that I'll uh, be able to win that another time or two. But we'll see what uh, is going to be possible for us with this car. We trust in you. Okay. Dr. Ulrich, now there's an entire, there's an RS model behind the DTM car. It's a model that anybody can drive on the road, yes? Yes, no doubt about that. The RS5 DTM and the production RS5 are definitely very similar. And the RS letters have been borrowed on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of Quattro GmbH. We've added them to the car for the championship. And one thing is clear, under the bonnet or hood, these cars have very similar engines with very similar performance. That is the RS5 DTM and the RS5. The technical basis or foundation of this car is the A5 DTM. And it just went through its first season in the DTM championship. And we're convinced that last year we did not leave up, live up to the potential of the car. Last year we think that there was a lot more potential in that car that we weren't able to take advantage of. So we have a major task now that we're working on very intensively. And I'm persuaded that this car's great potential will be taken best advantage of this year. Well, I think those are the toughest and the best objectives you can establish. Thank you, Dr. Ulrich. All the best, Jamie. Good luck for you this season. Good luck to all the other drivers. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay here with us 
For a minute, gentlemen, stay on stage here, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we would be pleased to welcome you this year during the season at a DTM or at the World Endurance Championship race. You'll see live how fascinating motorsports is, what it's all about. Come and see us at the races, at the tracks. Now, at the end of our brief press conference here, I'd like to ask all drivers and board members to please come up on stage for a group picture. Bitte sehr. Dankeschön. Come on up, thank you. Dankeschön. Und ich habe noch einen Hinweis. Thank you. And I'd also like to tell you that press kits on Audi racing activities can be found over at the counter. And we've got a little surprise over there for you, too. And, of course, all drivers are now available for any interviews you would like to conduct. Where should we go? We'll go over around this car here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the Audi press conference. And now we would like to invite the members of the board onto the stage. Please use this opportunity to take photos. Herr Reingetreten. <lacht> 